so small in this chair. We're on different like level chairs, so like I should be up here. So just excuse that. Hello, hello there, there travel lovers. Hi, so today we're saying hello to you from Krakow. Krakow. That's right, we're still in Poland. We actually arrived to Krakow about four days ago, but we have been working away. We haven't really had a chance to go and explore. Nope. So what are we doing today then, Misha? Very good question. Mm -hmm. So today we're going to explore the Jewish quarters here in Krakow. Mm -hmm. Now I've got the two names, the two areas we're going to. Justina, can you say it for me? Because I'm, I'm gonna happy. try, I'm not too sure if I'm right. Uh, Kazimierz? Kazimierz? And Podgorze or Podgorze. So the reason why we're going to these neighborhoods is because they're considered kind of more of the cool, hip, edgy neighborhoods here in Krakow. Um, plus, there's lots of history behind them, mm -hmm. especially during World War II. Now, we said that they were Jewish quarters. Now, in fact, the Kazimierz area was actually a Jewish neighborhood and it had about 60,000 Jewish people living there. Unfortunately, though, during World War II, the Nazis had occupied Krakow and they actually started moving Jewish people to a Jewish ghetto in the other district Podgorzy, mm -hmm. and that's where they basically built a wall and basically were they just, killed there? Some yeah, of, some were killed. Some of them obviously um, went to Auschwitz. Yeah, concentration camps. And by the end of World War Two, they had killed I think over fifty thousand from that neighborhood, right. from that original neighborhood in Casimir's. Mm -hmm. And one positive thing, not to be too doom and gloom here, we're actually going to visit Oskar Schindler's factory and he was responsible for saving over 1,000 Jews during World War II. Um, so we can't wait to go there and explore and kind of get more knowledge about it because that's a really positive story to come out of something terrible. Mm -hmm. And if you have seen Schindler's List movie, you probably know the history. I think I watched it many, many years ago. Yeah, me too. But I was saying to Misha, shall we just watch it again and yeah. like go back into the history yeah. as we're here now in Krakow. In fact, some of the scenes from Schindler's List were actually shot in that Kazimierz area, exactly where we're going. Yeah, yeah. so shall we just go? Because yeah. I feel like it's gonna get dark in like two hours. Yeah, it gets dark really, really quick these days. Yeah. And as you can see, we're wearing like, Turtlenecks and like proper hoodies and jumpers and whatnot. Well, we're really cold. Say proper, but this is really light. I need a proper jacket. Yeah. yeah. But there's blue skies today, and it should be 21 degrees on Sunday. Yes. So in two <laughs> days we get to have t-shirts on again. Woo! I can't do that. <laughs> Girl, I'm trying to rip that off. <laughs> right. So should we go now? Let's get going. We'll All see right, you there, guys. And here we are guys, out on the streets. I think the sun just came out, but I'm still kind of cold. Uh, I can see people walking around in their proper jackets, hats, sometimes even gloves. And uh, right now we're on a very busy street here. I don't know what's the name of the street, but this is the street where we live on. And this is our neighborhood. Kind of cute here. Yeah? Yeah, this uh, church is quite nice. Yeah, it is, yeah. yeah. Pretty cool. You can see guys, people are already wearing their winter jackets. Just proves how cold it is now. Confident walk. What, me? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> trying to get there, it's like 50 minutes. to the Kashmir's district and it's a really cool place there's loads of coffee shops art galleries restaurants it would be a nice place to unwind after a long day in the old town if you want to know a bit more history about this place there's actually many free tours going around and telling you the history I think there's a few websites a few operators so make sure you check them out if you are in the area just stumbled upon the old remains of the ghetto wall here wow it's literally one piece there actually joins onto this shop 
and actually this is one of five ghettos that existed during World War II as a way of controlling the Jewish population. And it's kind of hard to imagine that over 50,000 people were either in here and killed or sent to concentration camps. Me and Justina actually went to Auschwitz on Monday. We didn't film a vlog for obvious reasons. We didn't really know what to say when we were there. Um, it was definitely an eye-opener and it's really, really... One of the most interesting things when we did go was as soon as we arrived, the clouds came over us and it started to rain and it didn't stop raining for a whole three hours and it was just such a an eerie feeling, wasn't it, Justina? Mm -hmm, it was, yeah. yeah. And why don't you tell our viewers how to get there if they oh, want to yeah. go there for free? Oh yeah, so if you do want to go there, there's actually two free time slots that you can go and visit, one in the morning and one in the afternoon. You don't need to book anything, you just go to a kiosk and you reserve your slot and you get a ticket and you basically have about three to four hours to walk around. He gave me life, he saved my sisters and I couldn't ask for any more. Anybody who was related to us in Poland had died at the hands of the Nazis, and we were the only ones that survived. And the reason we survived is because we ended up on Schindler's list. He saved them not because he was, at the beginning, kind-hearted, good, noble, moral, and the like, but because uh, on a very deep level he developed a human attachment to these people. You know, he bribed everything. He did everything with money or with gifts or whatever he did. And he accomplished it. He was, to us, he was an angel. I don't know if you can see this, guys, but there's a tiny mound here. Well, it's not so tiny when you get up close. We're going to get to the top of there so that we can observe the sunset. Look at that. What do you think? It's nice, yeah. But I can't really look at it. It's my eyes. <laughs> really really bright there's an even higher point over there but we're racing to catch the sun apparently there's a king buried underneath this mound so I'm not sure if that's true it's just what I read earlier up we go so we made it to the top it's so orange look at yeah. that it's so so bright it's a good uh, sunset isn't it oh after you look into the sun for a really long time yeah. and you look back oh yeah i can't see myself like yeah, there was a <laughs> black blob on my face <laughs> yeah and, uh, yeah you can see pretty much 360 panoramic views of Krakow. Of Krakow yeah and uh, in front of me which you can't see <sighs> um is an old quarry i actually really wanted to go down there but yeah, it's too dark mm -hmm. it looks quite scary now so uh, that's a shame mm -hmm. we actually went to try and go into Fort Benedict or something like that but it's also been locked up so mm -hmm. my search for abandoned buildings continues, continues. <laughs> what did you think about the Schindler Museum what do you think yeah it's pretty good although yeah. it's quite small and there were so many groups of people yeah. walking around so sometimes I was feeling very, very claustrophobic. Like I was yeah. just stuck behind the people or in the group of people. You kind of got trapped. In yeah, the tour, yeah, exactly. So maybe I wish that they controlled that a bit better. So then it was a bit easier to move around and yeah. see, you know, like the objects and everything that was displayed in the museum. True. And it wasn't just about uh, Schindler's factory. It was about life before the war started and the effects on everyone, uh, Jewish, uh, Polish, um, just the German occupation. It was quite interesting. Um, but I don't think that was the original factory. Mm -hmm. I'm pretty sure it wasn't actually. So that's a bit disappointing. But we have definitely learned a lot today mm -hmm. about all of the events that happened here. So no regrets. Mm -hmm. But at the same time, it wasn't the real factory. So that's a bit disappointing. Yeah, I but, think the yeah. real factory is located on Lupova 4. Oh, is it? Yeah, the street of Lipova for mm. yeah. Mm -hmm. I wonder if I could go in it. Maybe we can still go there and have a look. It's probably... I'm sure there's something going on. Yeah, maybe. Yeah. I'm not sure. Let us know if you know more about the original site, because uh, we're not sure. Mm -hmm. We're going to say goodbye, guys. We're going to head home, cook some dinner, and we'll probably catch you in another video. So for now, thank you so much for watching this video. If you did enjoy it, make sure you like it, share with your friends, and as always, cheers to freedom. Woo! Ooh. It's going to go down in a minute. Yeah, it's gonna go down and then we have to go down in the dark. Oh, okay. Twist my ankle. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, how are we gonna go down that hill? 
it's I really know. dangerous. It is quite yeah. dangerous, yeah. Maybe there is a proper exit. Oh, I know what we can do. Like, roll roll. roll. <laughs> Did you, did you used to do that as a kid? Yeah. 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 But only in the snow. Actually, no, not only in the snow. Only in the snow? That's horrible. Freezing. Yeah, that's far. Oh, what was that? Ow. Did you see how many mosquitoes were biting Really? You? There were three of them. You probably, oh yeah, I can feel it already. Mish, there were three mosquitoes on your face. And you. Where? <laughs> Yeah, yeah, they're literally just biting you. <laughs> Look, there's more coming. <laughs>